after the joke of the president or the statement or whatever. <laughs> Gabriela called for his resignation yes. mm -hmm. and you posted a, yeah. a comment on social media, no victim, no, no, no crime, no resignation. Can you, can you expound on this? Well, and what was the reaction well, for, to for, social media? First of all, um, for those who really know the, the president, you know, he's, he just likes to taunt people. You know, he, he, the more he knows that he's going to create a negative reaction, the more he would, you know, test the waters. He's just like that. He, he does that to everybody, even to his children. Uh, he knows that, uh, well, I, I feel that um, most, of this, most of the statements or the, the things that he would say, there's a, there's a purpose to it. Remember the time that he was talking about marijuana, the smoking of marijuana. When, and after that, uh, the, the medical marijuana issue came about. Uh, it's, uh, it's a pending bill in, uh, in Congress, and, uh, and it, it plays for the, uh, you know, the issue of, of, of medical marijuana. So this time, uh, we just came from uh, the, the bullying incident. You know, the 13-year-old mm -hmm. uh, uh, boy, which everybody hated, but which we lawyers defended because in the first place, they, he is a minor. <laughs> Uh, he, um, he, uh, we, we, uh, even if he, was, he, did, he did something very wrong, uh, it's, it was basically wrong for us to, you know, to, uh, to castigate him in, 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 in social media. But, but there are so many um, children in conflict with the law. And, uh, and I think there are two, there are two uh, re um, you know, suspects for the story. First is that he wants, uh, you know, he wants to talk about the juvenile justice law. Because remember, um, there will be two schools of thought here. The first one is that what he did was reprehensible. It was, you know, he... Toward women. Towards women. It's, uh, it's you know, assuming that uh, the house helper was, uh, was, uh, is e even of age, uh, it, it's still something like... It, it, it's, it still reeks of, uh, of harassment. It still reeks of, uh, of, 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 of um, you know... Uh, chauvinism, it's, it's still violence. However... So you concede that? Yes, of that course. Point. However, with the basic, with the present law, the child, the 13-year-old does not have criminal liability. You cannot. In fact, in most cases, it would even be the other way around. Because the one, the, the adult, uh, was the one who, you know, uh, even if he was, he, he, she was the, the alleged victim, the, the law cannot you know, cannot presume that. So you're saying the rape joke was made to illustrate yes. juvenile behavior. Yes, and, 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 and President Duterte has always been a, a critic of the juvenile justice law. Uh, in fact, he would, he, that's the reason why he would be calling uh, Senator Kiko Pangilina names because he, he was the author of that law. And, and there are so many instances where in drug couriers are, uh, are, will be using, or drug lords or drug uh, syndicates would be using children uh, 10 years old, 11 years old because of that, of that law. So that's that or he is seeking a swipe you know, at his favorite um, whipping church. boy, the church. Hmm. But uh, attorney... Um uh, if, if the case were that uh, the president wanted to talk about the juvenile justice law and, uh, and the vulnerabilities of that law, apparently that's not where he was headed. Uh, he, he did not uh, put that in the in that of context. Course. Of course. He, he in the end, I, I'm sorry, but in the end, um, it sounded like uh, at the very least he was encouraging harassment. He was being proud of it. And he, I mean, yeah, well, I know, I'll, I'll, I know. I'll, I'll I, get, I get bluntly, the point. Uh, if I wanted to talk he was about this about it. issue, I, w I would have in the end said, that is why I want to bring this up, because nakalusot ako nung bata ako. Here is my, here is my, my answer to that. Are we not now discussing this? Are we not now trying to uh, debate on whether or not the act of a 13-year-old doing something to a helper who is against the woman's rights, or is it because we, we, we excuse him because he's a child. Now, now, that's, now, now that's, uh, th that's always had been the question, you know, because... Um, but that was not the question when uh, the president brought this up. Uh, the question when, yeah. when the president brought this up was, why did he just uh, say it like he was proud of it? And uh, well, what's the effect of that on everybody else? First of all, we have a president who, is, who likes to taunt people. Let's, you know, 
um, he, he does that to everybody. He does that even to his own, you know, to his own cabinet, to his own family, mm -hmm. to people close to him. Especially if he would get, he knows that he would get a negative reaction. We have, we have seen him push the envelope to a certain point, and sometimes if he feels that it's too much, he would even say, okay, I'm sorry, it's, it's too much, or take it back. Um, the frame of mind of President Duterte is not the usual frame of mind of lo local po usual politicians where they should always be politica politically correct. They should, you know, uh, 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 you should, they should always be uh, kind to, you know, they have to always be, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, uh, does not up, uh, should be upfront with regards to the marginalized, to the women. He, he does not think that way. Sometimes, uh, you know, even the supporters, we support, the, the basic supporters, the, those who, who, who watch him, sometimes we, 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 we would say, oh, okay. Uh, we know that, we understand that. However, um, it's, it's very difficult to, you know, to, to tell him uh, something when at the back of his mind he has some agenda. And he can be a little bit, you know, he can, mm -hmm. he can push the limit. How, push but the how do we know that th that was his yes. agenda, to talk about the juvenile justice law? Because in the end, he ended that, uh, that particular anecdote with uh, him being molested by a priest. So it went in that direction already. Because basically, the, 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 the import was that he was basically heading, get, getting two, two birds at one stone. Remember, remember, a molester can always be, the molester is, uh, becomes a molester because he was once molested. That's, that's, and the bully becomes a bully because he was once bullied. So he was just trying to get uh, the cause and effect. And it's a bad story, let's, let's face it. It was a bad story, <laughs> but we, we, he's not a script writer, you know? Yes. And, and, uh, and, and clearly he created a story.